Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to show you how to create invoices for jobs inside 360E using the invoicing module in the system. I'm going to start from scratch here um, with my jobs list page and as you can see I'm looking through a list of open jobs or active jobs. First I see work complete which is one of my indicators that would tell me that this job is ready to invoice. Now you can have other statuses and there's other features in the system that will trigger invoicing availability. This is the most obvious one right here. So let's start by going to details to view that job. Now I'm going to go to the billing tab. Inside you will see underneath an orange link that says invoices. Now 360's invoicing module was to, was built to fix some of the uh, the money pitfalls in the contracting industry where invoices are either delayed or or uh, errors are made because the system lacks the information to tell the administrator what can be billed and what cannot. So as you see as we go through, um, the information that you are looking for should be right at your fingertips. I'm going to start off here by creating an invoice. And at the top here you're going to have a playback. It's going to show uh, if you quoted anything, it's going to show you what you quoted, what's been invoiced, what actual expenses have been uh, against the job itself. Most importantly, as I go down here on the left side, you're going to see all of your playback from activity within the system. So if your workers have been tracking their jobs, if materials have been being tracked, um, permits have been, have been entered into the system, all of it's right here at the administrator's fingertips. Starting here with labor, all of my tracked labor hours are showing up. So the administrator knows the 2.02 hours were tracked against this job. Now at the top, the estimate the I can see here was 745. So I can either TNM, I can just put my time and materials in. Here's my purchases. Of course, I did not use $12,000, but all I have to do is tap these to include them if I want to do it this way. I can also just go in and bill for the balance and use this information as reference. Also, depending upon how I want to set my invoice up, I can go through and look. I can itemize all of my entries if I want to, including permit information. If it was there, I can list my job items, my permits, and things like that. Also, something available to your administrator is the daily comments from every entry put in from your workers and from the office. So in this case, I go here and I see Here's some comments logged. This is what I did today, so this would also maybe be a way that they tell you what materials they used, any notes uh, upon arrival and exit. But also here I can see that the worker stayed an extra 30 minutes to fix the kitchen light fixture. I use this example a lot in training because this is one of the example of the areas in which the system can be used to get rid of those little one-offs and things that get untracked and don't get built. So if they're just tracking their comments in here, you can see how that will pay off when you're writing the invoice. Here I'm going to charge for the job total, but I'm also going to add additional service call on site, which is another $95. So my total is all set for me. I'm going to save my invoice. Now on the right here, I've got some other toggles which allow me to see the, a preview of the invoice. I can track payments as they are made. I can also create a PDF of the invoice, download it, send it in any way that I would like to. But I can also create, I can also send the email, the invoice right here from the system via email. And this would work the same way that sending a quote out or any other document in the system. It's all bundled up here. Notice when I send my e email that I'm sending the invoice I created, which is right here. I'm also sending a statement out optionally if I want to send a progress statement to the customer to let them know where they are on the greater balance of this project. So this would work if on bigger jobs where you're doing progress invoicing. It can show them what they've paid to date, how much is remaining, things like that. So once I do this, now I can email it, as I said, right back to the customer. All of that is contained right here in the invoice link, which is located underneath the billing tab in any job. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.